The CB is a bit of a weird one for me. Right from the start, I didn't have a lot of confidence in the market demand for a pack like this. And to be honest, I'm still not entirely convinced. I don't think it's going to be something we'll be famous for because it's not really a priority bag to own. But as something that you can just grab and go in the event of a no pocket emergency situation, I think the CB can be quite the lifesaver. The initial idea came from the very first MBTD scratch bill I made last year. It was a handy pack to bring with me when I wanted to go shopping in my pyjamas but after a couple of months using it, there were a bunch of things I didn't like about the design. For one, um, the cover is just only a piece of strap folded in half. So there's a lot of opportunity for things to just fall out or things to, you know, or, or someone who uh, can just reach in and grab something and leave with it. Then the other thing I didn't like was the buckle because uh, this buckle is a little difficult to, uh, to handle, to manage. So I needed a simpler buckle system to make it more uh, user friendly. Then of course, um, the other thing is how, I how it was constructed. I didn't like um, these, uh, um, I don't know what to call it, I suppose webbing points or uh, piping points. So I wanted a much more streamlined um, curve just around here so that it would make, more, make it more um, nicer or more appealing to the eye. So yeah, we have some work to do. That's why when I finally decided to turn this into a real product, the first thing I did was to add a full cover. I wanted the cover to be rigid like a side pocket and I decided to go with a buckle over the top because it's always better at holding down the cover. On top of that, I added a couple of pockets for tickets and cards and what I ended up with was quite a handsome little pack. It had a rugged vibe to it and for a prototype, it looked pretty close to a finished product. The main thing with the loadout that I'm concerned with is that it feels like small objects will fall out the top, like in these little gaps here. Uh, AKA, you know, the problem with most passengers. And the thing is, we already addressed this with our extended inner shell. So this just feels like a little bit off-brand to, to suffer the same problem, you know. Damn it, he had a point. I avoided the extended inner shell when developing this prototype because I didn't want the lid to feel too bulky on such a small pack but it looks, it looks like I'm gonna have to figure something out. Another problem I wanted to address was the velcro feel. Where it sits currently doesn't work so I have to relocate it. At first, I moved it to the top of the lid filling the whole section with velcro but that was a production nightmare to get it lined properly with the top of the cover. So some landscaping was in order to keep the bush neat and tidy Unfortunately, this meant the buckle had to be relocated under the lid but that turned out to work really well because the lid could now snap shut without much thought. The CB is one of the riskier products I've developed but the upside is that we can make a lot of these in a short amount of time and it's also a nice way to further round out our product roster.